Hello everyone, today we'll be making some fried oyster mushroom tacos topped with some pico de gallo and some cuasa caca sauce. This recipe is alkaline, vegan friendly, easy to make and it's extremely delicious. Let's do this. I'm using one pound of oyster mushrooms, you can use any variety. Even though I love king oyster mushrooms, I chose oyster mushrooms because they cook way quicker and for this recipe, that's exactly what you need. Oyster mushrooms come in a bunch, just like this. And to make it easier to fry, we're going to have to separate the individual petals from the central stem. Their petals are quite delicate, so when plucking them, pull them by their stems, just like this. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button, it really helps the channel. Thank you. Once you're done, place them in a large container and set them aside. You can season and marinate them if you want. Let's make our alkaline guasacaca sauce. Slice off the flesh from a green bell pepper. Remove the seeds and don't forget to remove the pith as well. Traditionally, guasacaca sauce is made with jalapenos, but people living the alkaline lifestyle don't eat them. If you're vegan, go ahead and use jalapenos. Let's head to the stove. Place a cast iron pan on medium high heat, then throw in your green bell pepper flesh. Let it char for up to 3 to 5 minutes, you don't need any oil. Once it chars, you get something like this. You can flip it over and char the other side. This step is not typically done, but this is my own twist on the sauce. Press down for maximum charring. When you're done, set it aside to cool down completely. Next, we're going to prep one large ripe avocado. You can use two if you want. Cut open your avocado and remove the stone. Use a spoon to separate the flesh from the skin. The flesh doesn't have to be intact. Add both halves of the flesh to a blender cup. Next, add your charred green bell pepper skins. Most importantly, we're going to add a large bunch of fresh coriander, aka cilantro. Next, we're going to add some sea salt to taste. Add the juice of three key limes. Add 3 tablespoons of olive oil, then add a quarter cup of water and adjust the quantity as needed. Blend to your desired consistency. Once you're done, add it to a bowl and set it aside. Remember, you can add any other ingredients you need. This is my alkaline take on guasacaca sauce. Add 4 cups of white camouflage to a bowl. You can also use spelt, iron corn or regular flour. Add one and a half tablespoons of sea salt and adjust to taste. Give it a good mix. Once you're done mixing, you want to add one and a half cups of your salted flour to a separate bowl. To the larger bowl of salted flour, you want to add four tablespoons of granulated onions. Next, add 4 tablespoons of coriander powder. Add 1.5 tablespoons of cayenne pepper or adjust as needed. Whisk it all together and make sure all of the ingredients are distributed evenly. We're going to set up a dredging station, so grab two additional bowls. Divide the seasoned flour equally between the two separate bowls. This recipe is not a healthy recipe by any means. To one of the bowls with the seasoned flour, you want to add one cup of walnut milk. If you're vegan, you can use cashew or oat milk. You can use milk alone, but I didn't have enough walnut milk in my fridge, so I supplemented with one and a half cups of spring water. Welcome back. Mix your wet and dry ingredients to combine.
pans combined, you want to add 3 to 4 tablespoons of avocado oil, then mix again. Line up your bowls and place the wet batter in the middle. The first bowl contains the seasoned flour. The second bowl contains the wet batter that's also seasoned. And the final bowl contains the salted flour. Now let's begin the dredging process. Grab one oyster mushroom petal, place it in your seasoned flour and coat it thoroughly. Once that's done, shake off excess flour and place it in your wet seasoned batter. You want to completely coat the petal with your wet batter using only your right hand, then shake off excess batter. Using your right hand, you want to place it in your salted flour and roll it around. Then with your left hand, you want to completely coat it in flour. Grab it again, shake off excess flour and place it on a wire rack. Repeat the process until all of your mushrooms are completely coated. If you end up getting your dry flour wet, you can make a new batch and change it out. You don't have to coat them individually. You can also coat them in batches depending on how large your bowls are. Make sure you separate them when placing them on the wire rack. If you don't eat fried food, you can spray them with some avocado oil and bake them at 380 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Remember to flip them halfway through. In an air fryer, 380 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Flip it in the middle and spray. If you're frying, bring some avocado oil to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a thermometer, check if the oil is ready with one battered mushroom. If your oil is hot enough, add about 5 to 6 mushroom petals and fry for 2 minutes or until golden brown. Make sure to separate the petals so they don't stick together. After about 2 to 3 minutes, flip them over and fry them for another 2 to 3 minutes. After another 2 to 3 minutes, your fried mushrooms should be done. Place them in a container lined with some paper towel to absorb excess oil. mushrooms are ready. Check this out. Let's take a closer look to determine how crispy they are. It's nice and golden brown and if you do a test for crispiness, it sounds like this. That's crispy enough for me and for the skeptics, we can also take a look at the inside. Delicious. Since I've cleared your doubts, we can move on. We're going to coat our fried mushrooms in some sweet savory and hot sauce. And to begin, we need a quarter cup of agave. To the agave, you want to add two tablespoons of coconut aminos. Add one or more teaspoons of cayenne pepper. Finally, add three tablespoons of avocado oil and give it a good mix. That's good enough for me. The next step is to add your fried oyster mushrooms to a large bowl. Pour your sauce over your fried mushrooms and we're going to toss to coat them completely. Once you're done tossing, you should get something like this. As you can see, this looks so delicious and I feel like just calling it quits, sitting down and devouring the entire thing. But this is grubbany and we don't quit, we forge ahead. Next, we're going to heat up some Kamut tortillas. You can watch my recipe to learn how to make them. Let's assemble our tacos. Add and spread some of my everything sauce over the top of your tortillas. The recipe for this sauce is included in my first taco video. Slice some fresh romaine lettuce and place them over the top of your sauce. Make sure they are organic and be sure to wash them thoroughly. Add two or more fried mushrooms over the top of your sliced lettuce. Beautiful, but we're not done yet. Add a handful of my pico de gallo over the top of everything. Thank you. 
if you're vegan, you can slice some jalapenos and add them to the side. If you're alkaline and you're brave enough, you can add some sliced habaneros. Finally, we can add our guasacaca sauce. Add some seeded key lime juice and you can stuff your face. What was that? You want a taste? I'll let you taste it but you didn't work for it. So get out of my face. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Grabani. If you love this recipe, I think you'll also enjoy my nachos video. Go ahead and click on the link above to watch it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next week. Bye.